my Skype is currently being annoying at this point. Hey guys, this is Hyori, and sorry for my microphone, if you can't hear me, there's probably an issue with it. So I'll attempt to speak aloud in this video if I can. Today, I want to give you guys help on making your own Delvia character because ever since like Devil Devilio got popular, more people are starting to buy the Game Pass, and it's mostly the newer people who just started playing and want to make their own character. When I look at the characters, um, I think of them like maybe a new player has played it, has like used it, but need a little more help. I'm not here to say like, oh, you need to get better moves or like, you know, change your moves, because that's actually not right. Because it's their own character; they can do whatever they want. I don't have the right to change their moves. So, uh, I'll be giving you those tips, and let's get started. Please do keep in mind that I am not a professional and I just want to help you guys. So I hope these steps help you when you create your own Delvia character if you're playing for the very first time. And then I'll just talk about my experience when I created like some of my other Delvia characters. Because I don't have to set up only as a Delvia, I have more characters with like movesets and stats, so let's get started. The first thing about uh, character creating is don't actually create your character right away. Um, when you play Double Beater, I would say just play the game a little bit more. Um, and for me, I did not create December until like the 1st of December, and I started Double Beater in 2000. Crap, okay, Skype is being an idiot to me, I'm so sorry, I'll turn off my Skype right now. There is a group chat going on, and it's currently distracting me. I started Double Beater November, like the beginning of November, or like in October, and I did not create my character until the end of November. Um, that this one was actually the first Double Beater OC I created, and um, I played the game for like one month, so I would say just play Double Beater for about a month or more until you're ready to create your own that will be the character. So after one month has passed, um, you want to choose what power they will have or what weapon they will wield. Um, I would say look at all the characters like powers and just determine, hey, which character does not have this power yet? From my experience, uh, when I was playing Double Beater, I realized there was no character that has water as a weapon choice and there's like fire, nature. If you're planning to have a character hold a weapon, I actually have another double with the OC who wields a claw knife and she is now a primary user. Um, I would say just go to the Roblox gear page like with all the malaise and range weapons and see uh, which character doesn't have that specific weapon. Um, like, I could take rifle. We've never had a character with like who can shoot lasers and that's actually pretty um, neat and all. Now we can move on with the personality and design, I'll combine these two at once. I was actually writing out this tips guide on my phone last night and I was super tired. So um, for the personality, the character's personality will correspond with the seven elements. I'll link those elements down below in the description box. Uh, you're gonna go read and have a look. So after you design your character's personality, um, just look at the, all the elements to see where they correspond. And it's okay, you can make changes later on. I actually had to switch December's personality so many times. It was the suits I bought when I was playing Devil Beater. And I chose the blue suit because of the Valkyrie, but I did not know there's a personality trait associated with Flux. So I had to make some changes to December's. Uh, personality and I won't tell her her persona personality yet. just wait until like more acts come out and you'll find out how she acts when you're designing your character don't go Mary Sue just look that up on the internet what that means um, mess around your inventory just get creative don't copy what other characters look like in the game that's actually pretty annoying um, unless you have an excuse why you want that character to be related to 
um, this kid that really exists in the game. For example, I would take Ruby, who looks like a female shoe, excluding her wings on the back. So that can make me think shoe and Ruby could have like a, maybe their brothers or sisters, but Ruby has no last name. But we could say that Ruby's last name could be Lumia. Who knows, anyways? Even though they're actually code names. Most characters do need to wear a suit, but there's really a hidden rule that not all characters have to. Um, I could take Jacob. Donimo, Ultras, Asriel, as examples of like those characters who don't wear suit. But I would definitely recommend a character who wears a suit, so um, they show like which element they represent. Um, before I officially created December, I had like a character who was just in cultural clothes, and I said that could be my double wear OC. But then I was told that. Uh, it has to wear a suit, so I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what my character will look like. And I got so frustrated, but I didn't take my time really. I could change the design later on if I want to. But the character's movesets don't try to copy other people's movesets and make your own. That's kind of ripping off a certain character. Um, but, um, for me, I kind of mixed some of the characters' moves with my own, but I input my own ideas. I'm gonna give an example of December's R move, which is her geyser move. She looks like a hybrid of Dracov and Esteban, but I incorporate my original ideas by adding the knockback. Uh, originally, it was just gonna be a geyser, but I added the knockback in with the fence. It's okay to change your movesets later on if you feel like they're not the ones you want, but seriously, you guys, don't attempt to rip off a character's moveset. Um, just for no reason, because that's actually pretty stupid. And people will be like, oh, it's a rip off of blah blah blah. Now, don't bite game pads right away. You have to think about your character's design, and moveset, and stats. Don't make an overpowered character, you guys. That's gonna be pretty annoying if you do. Um, for me, after I created December, I had to tweak her stats a bit and her strengths and weaknesses. I had to keep changing them over time because I was pretty frustrated. I had to think super hard of ever since I created her in December and she was added in April so that was pretty much about 3 months for me to adjust her movesets and the hardest part for me when I created my character was the strengths and weaknesses the common ones for the strengths is like the high health, high damage, high speed and the common ones for weaknesses are slow, they don't have low health or something so I had to switch a lot of things around and actually the hardest part for me was the weaknesses because every character needs to have a weakness. The last thing, just have fun and get creative. Uh, again, take your time on your character. Don't actually buy the game pass right away after you uh, um, make your character. Just take your time on it and just go slowly at it. Just don't get overexcited. <laughs> The Game Pass costs 10k Robux. Um, it's currently off sale, but um, Jerry gets busy, so I'm pretty sure it will go like on sale soon. That's all I have the tips for today. If this helped you, great, but if it doesn't really help you, that's the best I could give. Again, I'm not a professional in a way. I just found these tips helpful when I was uh, creating my character. So, uh,. Thank you guys for watching. I'll link that will be the down below if you wanna go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!